Hey guys, Nick here from the Decentralized Derivatives Association, and today I'm going to walk you through how to do a basic DRCT contract. Just going to walk through the DAP flow. Uh, the real website for this is drct.decentralizedderivatives.org. You can see I'm just on my local host here because I'm going to be running it on the test network. Um, so let's just get started and I'll explain it along the way. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, choose a start date. We will choose tomorrow. Sounds like a good day. And then we will click uh, Create Contract. Uh, that goes to what you will need to run these contracts. This is MetaMask. MetaMask is awesome. Uh, it just is an Ethereum wallet that connects right to your browser. You can uh, just Google MetaMask. It'll give you plenty of options on that uh, as far as how to download it. There's like a million YouTube videos, so I feel like I don't need to create one of my own. Anyway, uh, you can see it says 4 million gas. It actually uses closer to 3. Uh, I just have it at 4 since so some of my custom ones are a little bit higher. And then on gas price, if you're on the main net, you'll want to put something low because you can, you know, you have a week for this thing to go through, but you can definitely do something lower but since we're using fake money we can spend a whole lot of money fake money and get it done in a couple seconds so we'll submit that and what you see here is that this is a one week Bitcoin US dollar contract and that means that the contract will start tomorrow last for one week and go off of the Bitcoin US dollar reference rate uh, you can look at our code on our GitHub and see which exact API this pulls from. It's the GDAX one uh, on our DAP. Um, and that's kind of the basics of the contract. Uh, now we're going to pick long or short. Well, this can be long. Uh, the amount of ether he's going to put in is one ether. And we'll click our MetaMask and we'll see if it's uh, finished. Just click here. It is still pending, even with our really high gas price, I guess that's what you get for doing this on a Friday night. So, you can actually go here. Uh, if your contract takes too long, this is something that you can actually do. You can just up the gas price, and since it's fake money, uh, you can up it really high. Spin it through. And hopefully we'll get a contract here soon. Um, but what we're going to do is once this mines, then we're going to click address result. And we should get our created contract because what this actually is doing is, so create contract, this gives you the blank template for the DRCT contracts. And then whenever you send funds, that's whenever you send your ether you tell the contract whether or not you're long or short. And the premium here is the amount you just want to pay to the other side to, to take the other side of the contract. So, uh, you know, we want to be long Bitcoin for a week. Uh, let's say Bitcoin's just been, you know, on a run for a long time and no one really wants to take the short side. You might have to incentivize them by putting some sort of 0 0.01 amount here or I don't know. I guess it's kind of like a built-in spread there. So, oh, we see that we have a successful contract creation, and you can see in the internal transactions, this created a 0xf33 contract. So we'll see, can we get that in our address result? And yes, we do. And now we have all of the variables set in, and we will click Send Funds. So saw so that the ROPS and test network is pretty clogged right now, so we'll up the gas price, click submit, and we are going to have a soft contract with some details put in. And what we're actually going to do is copy this address. So I am not an exchange. I don't want to be an exchange. Um, so you're kind of on your own for finding the counterparty. But once you do find a counterparty, he will come to enter swap. 
and uh, still waiting on it to go through, of course. See, it's still pending. Uh huh. But in the meantime, we'll switch our. We'll pretend like we're the other party. So here we go. We have. We're now the other party. We found your Ethereum swap. He wants to take the other side of the short Bitcoin rate for the week. Go through. There we go. Went through. In a short while, right? Um, so now, but you're actually going to put in short, and then the amount of ether you're going to put in is one. Uh, these are standard contracts, which means not everything's customizable. And I actually have it put in there that you have to have the same amount as the other party. The only reason I'm actually making you put in the amount of ether here is so the other party doesn't go and change the amount of ether put in after he tells you. And you're actually doing some sort of custom one where he only he put in one and you have to put in ten or something like that. So what you can see here uh, is actually jumping back. You'll kind of have to stay with me. Um, so whenever we actually enter that swap, we don't put ether into the swap, we put wrapped ether into the swap. So the since we wrapped the ether and then transferred it from ourselves to the swap, that's what this thing does. And this is just showing that it transfers one ether to the wrapped ether contract. Uh, and then it also enters in the details down here. Anyway, we shall go back and we're going to enter the swap. So, all right, uh, fingers crossed, we will now have a swap contract pending here. But what we're actually going to be able to do is go to my swaps. And then whenever we go here, we will pick our start date. Since the swap starts tomorrow, we can click that one. Go through yet. Did. So let's see if we can get it. Uh get open token balances. Ah, it did. Okay, so Catmin start value. This is if the contracts open, this will give you the value of Bitcoin on your start date. Since this is tomorrow's date, there's no start value. Uh, the minimum value, since there's no multiplier on this contract, uh, the minimum value is just zero. And the maximum value is actually just double the rate. So since a 100% move will reduce the other side's ether by all of it, uh, that's the cap value. So you basically can't get paid more than to put it in this contract, which should make sense. And also, the contract doesn't pay out to you. It pays out to the balance of your short tokens. So you actually get a thousand tokens representing your one Ether balance in this contract. You can send these tokens, sell these tokens. They trade as an ERXV20 token to whoever you want. You can use it here. I put even put in a an address of some party who buys these tokens from you. Uh, you would be the short token, and then you can just send those tokens away. Uh, I'm actually currently looking for exchanges who would like to list these ERC20 tokens on their exchange. And you can send them. Uh, so you have 1,000. We will click show my swaps. Uh, so these are actually old ones of this account, so you can ignore those too. <laughs> The state is three. That means that you have the tokens. Um, and this is the swap address. This is the start date. It's in Unix time format. Uh, and then amount of ether on each side. Should be easy enough. And then here is the long party and the short party. That should be you. All right, so. That's actually about it for now, since the contract ends tomorrow. Uh, but currently, I update the Oracle values. I make make sure that the Oracle calls these calls the GDAX API. Um, but if for whatever reason I get hit by a bus, 
you guys can actually go interact with the Oracle contract on your own, uh, which is on the GitHub page, and call the Oracle yourself. Uh, this is actually completely decentralized. The DAP just makes it easier for you, but there is no need for you guys to have me involved in any way. Uh, but I do do a couple services as far as providing, uh, you know, calling the Oracle for you so you don't have to do that. And then I'll also pay it out. Uh, so once the week is over, I will make sure that the swap calculates the difference and then pays you. And it does not pay you in Ether, it pays you in wrapped Ether, which you can come to the cash out and you can click get balances. Uh, right now I have zero, but at the end of the week, assuming that um, since I'm on the short side, it doesn't get capped out, so Bitcoin doesn't double in the week. Uh, I would have some sort of token balance it here, and then I can just get cash out and take my balance. So anyway, that is how you use the contracts. Uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions you have, and hopefully, I can, hopefully you guys um, give me some good feedback. Enjoy using these contracts. Uh, Thanks for uh, watching.